Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be some journaling in my reading journal. I finished all my stats and stuff for March and we made our April monthly spread and then I also went ahead and did a little bookshelf tour for you guys and rearranging my books. So a couple different things in this video. I hope you enjoy it.
This is one half of our living room bookshelves. They're just uh, built-in shelves that came with the house we're renting and we use them for books and obviously just like decor and stuff. So this is kind of where we keep our sets of books or the books that we think are pretty or that we just like a lot. And I kind of have had them if you can even see me over there. I have kind of had them organized in a way, but not really. So I'm gonna be trying to get them more organized and I will also do a little bookshelf tour, but I figured I would get them organized first. So this is this half and then let me show you the other half. This is the other half. Here we have our Harry Potter shelf and here is like my mini little Stephanie Garber shelf and I'm super proud of this. I can show you guys a close up when I do my bookshelf tour but this is like a little bookstore that I built. You can buy the kit off Amazon. They're called like miniature kits and I picked a bookstore because duh and it comes with everything but you have to like glue it all together and make the books and blah blah so it took me a long time but I love it so that is what we're working with I am just gonna start I guess I guess I'll start with the side since we are over here Okay, I know you guys can barely see me. This is me standing on my tiptoes too, but that's okay. It's more about the books. So we will start with these two shelves. This top one isn't the most pretty or organized. I did kind of try to organize it recently by height. These are pretty much almost 100% my fiance's books, um, golf books and just like self-improvement books and stuff like that non-fiction the two books here that are mine are when breath becomes air and atomic habits atomic habits i'm reading currently very slowly and i've read this already that's that shelf not too exciting and then we have this shelf which is really fun we like this shelf a lot we absolutely love lord of the rings in this house and game of thrones and pretty much all these um these are classics or just like modern day classics so we have a game of thrones here i haven't read these yet um i love the way it looks the books themselves are very short and <laughs> very small and the pages are like bible thin so we'll see about that reading experience but i am excited to read them but they look really pretty and then we have the chronicles of narnia books haven't read these yet either my fiance is on the third book which he's reading as the second book not important but a lot of people read the magician's nephew last and i of course want to read them at some point 
And then we have Frankenstein and Dracula back here. I haven't read either of these either. I really want to read them this fall, maybe for a video I think would be fun. And of course those are classics. And then we have Tolkien, The Lord of the Rings, The Silmarillion, and we also own The Hobbit. That is in our bedroom because we are reading it right now also very slowly. I think we've almost been reading it for a year and we're like halfway through. Don't ask me why. It's because we, well, don't ask me why and then I explain. It's because we read it before bed sometimes, like out loud to each other. And I swear, I don't know what it is about either reading out loud or something, but we'll read like four pages and be like, okay, we're also usually really tired when we are going into bed because we don't have like a TV in our bedroom or anything. So usually it's like literally to go to sleep. So yeah, we're still reading it, but that is why it's not over here. But we also own The Hobbit and that's that shelf. So I'll switch you guys very quickly to the shelf this is literally just like bibles that's it these are pretty much my romanticy books it's funny because romanticy books are like my favorite genre and i read them a lot i would say but i also don't own very many i don't know i think i'm like kind of just starting to get into them a little bit and i've read a couple now on my kindle so I don't own them. But basically, yep, yeah, we have Fourth Wing, Iron Flame, Powerless, and The Dance of Thieves duology. I honestly loved all of these books. I love romanticy, like I said. So this shelf is super cute. So that's that. And then we'll bring you guys over. Here we have my Stephanie Garber shelf. So the little Caraval trilogy and the Once Upon a Broken Heart trilogy. These books, I love them so much. They're like my pride and joy so gotta put them all together and give them their moment and then this is my little bookstore i was telling you about guys about i'll also insert a clip of it close up more like just with my phone and then let me raise you just a tiny harry potter shelf over here like i said all the books some harry potter playing cards that are my fiance's and i got this chocolate frog there's nothing in it and it didn't even come with anything in it how rude i literally thought it was gonna come with a chocolate frog um got that from universal studios hollywood as well as the ravenclaw and gryffindor journals i'm ravenclaw and my fiance is a gryffindor and then this doesn't look the best so probably should just get, move it but those are the harry potter movies so that's it for that shelf all right and our last shelf it's not full which is kind of bothering me this is my mystery thriller from here over books and then these are just fantasy books we have the talisman by stephen king some olive blake twilight um well the midnight sun which i actually started reading but haven't finished yet whoops the inheritance games books love these so much and then the last shelf we have in our living room is this one so we have the song of achilles right here that could also go down on this shelf but it's covering kind of covering some magazines that are my fiance's so i just think the song of achilles is in general just like a cool book to own and i like the cover too so i have it right there but and then we have my very small selection of like pure romance slash well malibu rising is more like a literary fiction romance but i have it here because it also looks very like like a summary book and these all kind of have that in common so we have the summer i turned pretty series love and gelato and then malibu rising like i said and then i have the shadow me series minus the first book because it is on my book cart right now because i am hoping to read it this month it's on my april tbr and those are also romanticy but they take up a lot of room so i don't have them with my other ones i don't really have a reason for that then we have like my witchy fall books and then we have my very small sci-fi section red rising i have the third book on my tbr cart as well and then the renegades first book i just read that and i need to buy the second one and read it you're probably really close to me right now but that is it for my living room bookshelf tour and then we're gonna go into our bedroom and we have like a smaller actual bookshelf in there that we owned before we moved here and had all these nice shelves and also before i owned a lot of books so it fit all of them and now it's extra so i'll bring you over there
Okay, last little shelf here, and it's not full, so it has four shelves. Only the top two have books, minus a couple, like, either Bibles or, like, little Bible books down here. So this top one got some kind of, like, nonfiction. This book I literally read when I was, like, 13, and I still own it. I think it's, like, a Christian romance book or something. And then we got another Harry Potter book. I believe this is my fiance as he's had for a long time so that's cool we have some classics huckleberry finn black beauty 1984 i've literally never read any of these stephen king novella gone girl i read that in like middle school and i actually never finished it I don't know why. I guess I was bored of it, but I really like the movie, if you guys have seen the movie. And then we have another witchy book. Basically, these shelves are kind of either for, like, books that I don't think I will ever read or ever read again, or just stuff like that, mostly. I'll explain when I come to one that isn't, but... So, don't think I'll ever read that again. I don't really know why these are out here. I think... I think I might put them on the other shelf because one, there was more room and they'll help fill it. And I also, like, I didn't hate them. Like, this is probably like a 3.5 stars. Didn't hate it at all, but I just didn't love it. My opinion is truly devious is better, if you wanted to know. For now, I guess. We'll put those here. And then we have Christmas books, these three. Um, I liked all of them, so and they're just Christmas books, so I have them out here. And then we have some John Green. <laughs> OG readers read The Fault in Our Stars. And then literally, why did I buy this book? Like I thought, oh my gosh, this book is so cool if you've heard of it. Kane's Jawbone is like a literary puzzle. It says it's the world's most fiendishly difficult literary puzzle. So I remember a couple years ago I saw this and I was like, I need this. So I like asked for it for Christmas and I never got it. But when I got back into reading in like 2022, I was like, I need to buy it. I still have yet to even try to do it really because I swear I spent like five minutes looking at it and I was like, nope. So basically all the pages have been printed in an entirely haphazard order, but it is possible through logic and intelligent reading to sort them into the only correct order revealing six murder victims and their respective murderers. So only three puzzlers have ever solved it. <laughs> do I really think I'm going to solve it? Who am I kidding? So down here, we have a lot of books you guys have probably maybe seen before. <laughs> we have some classics as far as for like 13 year olds when they came out, aka me. So of course, Twilight, Divergent. I've read all of them, only have the first one for some reason, The Maze Runner. Did you all like sleep on The Maze Runner or did you read it? Because it is such a good book and of course they made it into the movie series with Dylan O'Brien. This is before the movies came out. I remember I heard they were coming out or something and I was like, that sounds really interesting. So I read it and I think I only read the first one. Then we have the selection series. So I have read all of them and I love these books. The only reason they're in here is because my fiance doesn't like the covers or anything because they have people on them, which I mean, I don't love people on the covers, but since it's not like a guy and a girl kissing, like I don't really care. But yeah, I really liked that series. That's the only reason it is in here. And then down here I have a book that actually my great uncle Greg wrote and that my cousin illustrated called How the World Got Better. It's a children's book and he's such a great person if you want to read it and support him. I believe you can find it on Amazon. It's really beautifully illustrated and you can find it on Amazon. I have a couple authors in my family. My grandma wrote a book, my uncle wrote a book, so pretty cool. Well guys, I think that is it. Um, I have my TBR card, but besides that, that is pretty much every single book that I own, I'm pretty sure. I don't think I have any in boxes or anything anywhere. So that is all of our bookshelves books that we own. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I believe you would have already seen my reading journal part of this video. I feel like you guys have kind of liked the reading journal videos so far, so I will probably continue doing them. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!